Hey, welcome back to the channel and a really weird video recording setup. Um, I just wanted to record a really quick video and I'm just using my phone instead of my normal filming equipment because I can't be bothered setting it all up tonight. Um, I was almost going to film from lying in my bed, um, but then I just thought, oh no, I need to come out here and get all the numbers and data so I can tell you um, how the stats are going. Um, and yeah. Um, if I put it in the title of the video, I imagine I did, um, I just wanted to talk really, really quickly about um, some latest stuff that's going on with me um, mental health wise and also a diagnosis I got on Friday that just, yeah, threw me. But anyway, I'll do my stats first. Oops, I'm hitting things. Um, so I'm 15 weeks post-op. I'm not going to do what I weighed last week. This week I am 99.6 kilograms or 219.6 pounds, which means I have made it under 100 kilograms just, and I'm very happy about that. I had a really big loss this week. Um, I lost 1.9 kilograms or 4.2 pounds, um, and my total loss, including the two-week pre-op diet, is 22.3 kilograms or 49.2 pounds so so close to 50 pounds um i i'm just in a really bad place um mental health wise at the moment i've got um bipolar as i think you know um if, if you've been watching for a while and my medication is just not working and it's possibly due to the bypass um it's just not being able to stabilize my mood um, and I mentioned that I started a new medication that um, makes me eat a lot. Um, and then on Friday, I saw my psychiatrist and she um, got out a diagnostic and said, you know, she'd been thinking it for several years, many years, five years plus. Um, but she ended up diagnosing me with binge eating disorder, which... It on its own isn't surprising or a shock. Um, it's just I've got I've had just so many health problems, issues um, in the last 12 months or well, for ages. It just really was like the straw that broke the camel's back. And by Saturday, I, I basically just cried all day on Saturday um, because I just felt like it was the number of illnesses and conditions and shit syndromes and everything I just thought this feels insurmountable this feels like too much for one person to have to to have to deal with and how do you, how do you deal with it and how do you prioritize it and um so I nearly didn't record this week because I just wanted to figure my stuff out I don't have a psychologist appointment until tomorrow um, I've chatted to some friends and family who've given me really good advice. Um, I'm actually going to talk to somebody tomorrow night who has multiple um, health conditions. I just want to talk to somebody who really understands what it's like to have, you know, 10 plus diagnoses. Um, and I also have already met someone who has binge eating disorder um, and it was such a immediate relief to share our experiences and we're so similar that it made me just feel not alone because I thought I could try to explain this to my family and get support from them, but they're never going to really truly understand it. Whereas um, this woman I've met, she 100% gets it. Um, and it's so it's really good. So I guess that's just a little lesson in you just got to find support. You just force yourself out there in the world and find the right support depending on the situation. Um, so even though um, I've been binging and um, my weight had been fluctuating, I stopped taking the medication um, that was causing me to binge eat. Um, now my psychiatrist has prescribed me yet another medication which is supposed to help me with impulse control which is supposed to counteract the binge eating desires that I have even when I'm not on this other medication so um, tonight I'm going to go back on 
the medication that really is going to help stabilize my mood and I won't be swinging from highs to lows and having such a roller coaster ride of emotions. Um, and hopefully I'll feel better, you know, even in a day or two, um, get back to work properly. Like I'm, I'm just not present at work. I don't feel like I'm my most, I don't feel like I'm, I just don't feel like I'm in my A game. I don't feel like I'm my most productive or best self. I don't feel like I'm contributing enough. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this, I don't know what this means. Like, I mean, I just haven't, I just can't process it all. Um, you know, I had two weight loss surgeries to try to control what turns out was an eating disorder that I should have, I feel like I should have been diagnosed with a, like 20 years ago. Um, so just, I don't know. I just feel so confused and so overwhelmed and it's just too new and I just haven't had a chance to really process it yet. So, um, yeah, I'll chat to my psychologist tomorrow and yeah, like I said, you know, reach out through my support network and um, get treatment and I'm sure everything will be fine because I'm my new favourite saying is I've survived 100% of everything I've had to deal with in my life so far. So um, hopefully that means I can survive this and maybe it will just make you know, the rest of my weight loss journey and beyond easier because I'll be able to understand myself um, a bit better. Um, so there could be some positives out of this. Um, yeah, anyway, so um, I'll leave it there. Um, hope you're having a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.